It is headed uh, due east. It's about a quarter mile to a half mile wide tornado. Oh my God! Oh, look geez. at it! I knew the devastation of a wedge tornado. We watched it happen in Joplin, and here it's happening in my city. Coming in 98, we gotta get out of the way! I knew that it was headed for my parents' neighborhood. Is everybody okay? The hardest thing is not knowing where the possible death is coming from. Keep running, blow the water! I started to panic, I started to cry. That's all I could think of was how lucky we were not to have the girls in the car. Somebody laying there dead was a real possibility. Oh my God. Call it in, it's multi vortex. Inside of, of nine years, we've had two uh, really devastating events to happen in Hattiesburg. Hurricane Katrina in 2005, the last one February the 10th, 2013. Y'all copy all that seven. Copy on the ground. I turned on my police radio, and that's when I heard all the radio traffic about a tornado. Uh, 20, it, it's a big storm from right here. Big it was Mardi Gras weekend, and when you're this close to New Orleans, it's a holiday. So we got the, the weekend off. I was at my parents' house about 20 minutes from town. I kind of saw the, the storm beginning. You, know, you start seeing the local news covering what was happening west of us. Local law enforcement reported a tornado 24 miles southwest of West Hattiesburg moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. While my title now is news director, I was running the weather department at that time. We're getting reports of injuries now to Marion County. Uh, three homes damaged uh, along Mount Carmel Church Road. Once we got that damage report in Marion County, we knew we were dealing with a bad situation. I am a reporter and anchor at WDAM-TV. I was at my parents' house, and I had my nieces with me because they like to come with me to go to Mama and Papa's house. It was pretty dark at our house to be in the afternoon. So my mom changed it to the Weather Channel. Here's Hattiesburg, southeast Mississippi. I remember my mom saying, are you sure you should head out? And I just told them, like, I can make it. I'll be fine. So when I left, I felt very confident. That confidence went away quickly. Man, look at that. I just graduated from USM with a bachelor's in geography. We studied weather and climate, which I really enjoyed. That's what got me into it, actually. We had the day off from work. The warning sirens had gone off several times. And I was getting stir crazy. And that's when my cousin Hank called and, and just wanted to get out of the house. Uh, he and his girlfriend, Coralie, came and picked me up. So I went to an outfitter store. It was a really strange atmosphere. The sky was kind of getting darker. In the beginning, it's bright out. And then by the end of it, it's just, it's all darkness. Still likely a tornado on the ground in Marion County. What you have is the one that we've been tracking south of Columbia. A very serious scenario here with this storm moving into Lamar County. Uh, well, there was four of us in the car. We do this because we like to be a part of the warning system, the assistance system. The storm was already 20 to warn, so we decided to drop south and try to find a break in the tree lines. We finally found a area that was flat, so we decided to set up and wait for the storm to approach. It's getting really dark back in there. I hear the sirens. Still couldn't see the tornado yet because it was still shrouded in low cloud cover. So it took a few minutes for it to emerge. All right, let me get the weather service on the phone. It's 
It's multi vortex. We need to go. Okay, let's go. When we saw the actual tornado on the ground, Scott called National Weather Service, and then I called 911. We have a large multi vortex tornado on the ground. We're professional storm chasers. My name's Mike Casey. We just we just towards Hattiesburg. It's heading turf toward Hattiesburg. We have just visual. We have, we have visual, visual confirmation of a multi vortex large wedge tornado on the ground. I personally didn't grow up here, but Paul grew up here. Seems like you turn around and he bumps into somebody he knows. Yeah, we're fixing a run here in a minute. So we had pulled off, went to the Best Buy parking lot, and then you could see this line of dark clouds, and then right below it, it was just clear. Start the car. Start the car. Let's go. Stop freaking out. I felt like we needed to get out of the way, and I was concerned about my family in, in town. When we saw the first transformer explode, that's when I realized that that was a tornado. You could see a debris cloud starting. You could start seeing shingles flying in the air, and I can't say that it was shingles or whatever it was, but you could see objects just spinning around it. Once we got out on the highway, I really didn't look in the rear view mirror to see how close it was. I didn't want to see how close it was. Um, run it. Just run it. Just run it. Blow the horn and run it, Jen. Blow the horn and run it. Just run it. Blow the horn. We had several officers that were able to give information to other officers so they could try to get out of the path if they were headed towards the path. It's at 59 right now. 59 and Hardy is moving fast going towards downtown. An officer said it was coming toward the interstate, so I knew that I was in a bad position. 438 I'm just up under the Lincoln Road Bridge here on 59. I'm just trying to shut it down. I can see where it's going through. Oh, just be careful. I sped and got as far ahead as many cars as I could. At that point, I turned my blue lights on and stopped the traffic. There was one car that I couldn't get to in time. 403 copy, still on I-59. Copy, the neighbor got visual still. Copy, neighbor got visual still. Copy, neighbor got visual still. Copy, neighbor I'm just up under the Lincoln Road Bridge here on 59. I'm just going to try to shut it down. I can see where it's going through. 4-3 copy, still on I-59. At that point, I didn't know how big the tornado was. I didn't know how wide it was. I didn't know the path it was taking. I parked diagonally in the road and stopped the traffic. Probably one of the hardest things you'll ever do is sit there waiting and not knowing where possible death is coming from. 307, it's coming um, over head toward Fort General. I could see the bridge at the next intersection at Hardy Street. The clouds got darker, then all of a sudden I couldn't see it. It looked like the cloud had actually just dropped down in between me and the overpass. You could hear the wind blowing, and they say it sounds like a freight train, and it's a lot worse. There was one car that I couldn't get to in time, and uh, I actually drove up not knowing if they were all safe. That was terrifying. Okay, so storm chasers are reporting a tornado on the ground in northern Lamar County. 
large wedge tornado being reported on the ground in northern We had already had confirmation from a storm chaser. He actually relayed that to the National Weather Service into the chat, and they quickly relayed it to us. All right, this is uh, one of the worst case scenarios that we can possibly have. Uh, I've been here for about 10 years, and it's the first time we've really had what we would describe as a wedge tornado uh, on track uh, towards a major metropolitan area. My voice cracks when I say that. I knew the devastation of a wedge tornado. We watched it happen in Joplin. We watched it happen in Tuscaloosa. And here it's happening to my city, and uh, it's tough. It's huge. It is a big tornado. We were probably five miles outside of town. Still could not really get any visuals on the tornado. As soon as we crossed the Hattiesburg city limit is when we saw the tornado coming in, and our heart stopped because we could see one end of it and we couldn't see the other. All right, open my, open my sunroof. Stop right here, stop right here, right here. We were all still on the line with National Weather Service and 911 that they would get the sirens turned on. There are no sirens going off. Yeah, we're sitting on, yeah, we're sitting right here. There's no sirens going off. It may be larger, it may be larger. We got out the car, you know, and kind of started yelling for people that were around. Oh, it's bad, it's coming over, it's coming to 98, we gotta get out of the way. You can tell the cars that are driving next to us have no idea what's going on. King First and old thing. highway. What? King and old highway. King and old highway. Large multi vortex tornado, quarter mile wide. Hey, get in the car! Get in the car! First thing I thought, man, there's gonna be a lot of injuries, and this isn't good. Stop right here. So we need to we need to get out there and just start helping people as quick as we can. Large tornado on the ground. Coming into Hattiesburg. All right, you're gonna go forward past the ambulance. Ma'am, I need to go. I started getting text messages and calls from my sister. And she was like, I don't know what you need to do. She was like, I don't know if you need to keep going or turn around. So I got off the phone with her, and I called um, my coworker, Vanessa Pacheco, at work. And I just told her, I need to speak to the weather chief. I need to speak to Nick. She told me that Nick couldn't speak to me right now, but she would try to get the message to him. So I kept driving. Luckily, my nieces were not awake. And I just remember thinking, thank God they're asleep, because I started to panic. I started to cry. It was so incredibly dark. And it was just this eerie quiet that I've never heard before. Throughout the course of my career as a photographer, I've probably covered seven or eight different tornadoes. But as far as actually being close to one or it actually hitting that close to home, this was the first. I was working at the Hattiesburg American. I was a staff photographer. So it took off to head into Hattiesburg. In the distance, I was able to see the actual storm running parallel. When it crossed Highway 589, I knew that it was headed for my parents' and my grandparents' neighborhood. I was exceptionally worried about them. I uh, never strayed away from focusing to try to get into Hattiesburg, but at the time, I was still continuing to touch base with them on the phone just to see how they were. Go ahead. I'll, I'll talk to you a little bit. OK. That is, that's a tornado. We pulled out of the parking lot, and I saw this giant destructive finger that was just tearing things apart. Whoa! I was just really excited at first, you know, that I was looking at this tornado.